Sorry, I'm late. Hey, everybody. Hello, hello. No, Peter did not forget. Sorry, guys, I was a little late. How's everyone doing? Can you see me? Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Um, let me see if I can turn. <clears throat> there we go. I can see you guys. You can see me. Welcome. So today, I um, as uh, the background is a little different. I'm in Florida currently for celebration of Harry Potter, or unofficial celebration of Harry Potter, which is at Universal Studios. So look out for some Universal Studios videos soon. But I didn't have time to film a video for today. So I was like, well, I'll just go live with everybody. So welcome. And we've got a super chat from Terra Nova. Hi, Peter. Really enjoy your channel. Much love from New Brunswick, Canada. Go team Slytherin. And today, I know you guys are thinking like, Peter, you're a seeker. I had to fill in for the keeper today. So I'm a Slytherin keeper today. <laughs> so don't judge me. Watch my water. So <clears throat> let's like talk about Harry Potter. Ask your questions. I do have slow mode on because in past um, lives, People will just like send the same message constantly. So there is a delay. So you, I think that you have to have like, you can send a message every 20 seconds or something like that. So that should help with the chat. But let's grab some questions. Um, if you, HBO Max new show. Okay, so there's, there's some confusion about this. Let's just say if it happens, I'm a big fan of it. And I sound stuffed up because I have allergies. It's tree season in Florida and trees and my nose and my eyes don't like each other when they bloom. So that's why I'm all stuffed up. Um, the HBO Max show, um, if it happens, because I know Warner Brothers and HBO Max sent out a Statement saying there's nothing in the works, blah, blah, blah. Of course, they're going to say that. If it's true, they're going to say that. Um, but I would love it. Anything Harry Potter that can come our way, I'm a fan of. What about you guys? Are you excited about the show? Are you not excited about the show? A lot of you are saying, yes, yes, I'd love it too. Yeah, it would be it would be very exciting if, if it happened. So, Caitlin, I have no idea. It's like all this information is, is new, so I have no idea where it would be available to be watched. Um, it's like not even official yet. So, Universal, not Universal. Uh, Warner Brothers hired someone who has a lot of TV experience to kind of head all of the Wizarding World and like create new things for the Wizarding World. So there's a good chance there'll be some sort of show in the future, you know, especially with with Disney Plus and all of their Star Wars shows. Warner Brothers is going to want to compete. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's grab another question. Um, does anyone else uh, who's going to fill in for Johnny Depp? Um, they hired someone named Mads or something. I don't know his name, but I don't know what you guys think about that. I think it was just, I think it's very sad. 
that Johnny Depp is no longer Grindelwald. Um, which is sad. So that whole situation is so weird. What do you guys think about it? Are you sad that Johnny Depp is no longer Grindelwald? Are you happy? I thought he was great as Grindelwald. Uh, we got a super chat, super chat, super chat, super chat from Lucas, the spider fanatic. Welcome back, Lucas. Oh, snuck into the bathroom at work to say hello. Well, hello. Sorry that you had to sneak sneak into work. Um, oh, your Patronus is also a raven. Mine is a raven, as well as Lucas's Patronus. Hogwarts Legacy the new open world game that takes place in the 1800s. I'm very excited about Hogwarts Legacy. I'm not a gamer, I've never been a gamer, but I'm gonna become a gamer for this. So as soon as Hogwarts Legacy comes out, I will be playing it for sure. Mads Mikkelsen, yes, that's who is playing Grindelwald in future films. Oh, we've got another super chat, super chat, super chat, super chat. From Terra Nova. Best way to display Harry Potter wands. I have two, but no display yet. Um, well, you could display, you could kind of create your own display with those little silver or gold hooks. Um, let's see what else. Um, I have an elder wand. So on the top of my shelves, I'm pointing like I'm in the Potter Potter library, but on the top of my shelves, I have a little Beetle the Bard section, and or I guess we'd call it a Deathly Hollow section. So I have my Beetle the Bard book up there, um, Invisibility Cloak, and the um, Tom Marvolo's ring, which has the Resurrection Stone in it, and the Elder Wand, but I've hung the Elder Wand kind of at an angle with fishing wire from the ceiling, so it's kind of just floating in the air. So you could try that too, that'd be cool. We've got another super chat, super chat, super chat. The melody keeps changing. And with my allergies, it sounds great, doesn't it, guys? <laughs> Alexis sent. Hi, Peter, sending love from New Jersey, New Jersey. Um, about how many times do you visit, visit, visit? How many times do you visit the Wizarding World a year and what is the best ride in the parks? Um, favorite ride in the park is Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. Second would probably be Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey, which is the Hogwarts ride. And, um, I don't know how many times I visit. Um, I visit a lot more often now that I'm filming videos for you guys. So I try to get there once every one to two months, if that helps. It's like maybe once every two months around there. Um, let's pull another question. A video with my dogs, uh, Max and Jet. I miss Max and Jet. I'll see them soon. Um, but yeah, they should, they should make an appearance. They make an appearance on Instagram a lot. Yes, uh, Ludi, I am in Florida. Maya's world, you're cool too. Thanks, thanks a lot. That was very kind of you. Um, <clears throat> how many times have you finished the entire series? Not a lot of times. I am currently in my, well, see, I feel like I need to restart because I took a long break but I was, and still kind of currently in my first time going through book one to book seven. I've never read book one through book seven. I've kind of been like, oh, I wanna read this book. Oh, now I'm gonna read this book. Um, obviously read the books when they came out and read them multiple times after having read them for the first time. But I've been listening to the audiobooks, but took a break, probably like a 
eight to 10 month break in between, I was in the middle of Order of the Phoenix. So I just finished Order of the Phoenix and started Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And, um, but it feels like I've just started up with Order of the Phoenix because it was like a super long break. So I've never read the series from book one to seven before or listened to them. And I don't know if this time counts, but I am going to finish. I'm going to listen to Half-Blood Prince, then Deathly Hallows, and then start again with Sorcerer's Stone or Philosopher's Stone and try to go through the series. <laughs> I know it's crazy. It's like I've been asked this before and never, I've never, never uh, read or listened to the series straight through. We've got some super chats that popped in. Uh, Terra Nova. I'm also a singer. Have you thought about doing Harry Potter themed inspired song collaborations? I have thought of doing some Harry Potter songs and like recording some of the Harry Potter songs like that the Weird Sisters sing. So maybe that'll come out in the future. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. So I have thought about that or something similar to that at least. Tracy David, thank you for the super chat, says, how do I find out my Patronus? Go to wizardingworld.com. You're going to have to set up an account. So that's where you get sorted, too. That's the official place for Harry Potter sorting. So go there. Get sorted if you haven't already. And then there's a spot to see what your wand is, the length, the, the wood type, the core. And then also find your Patronus. So it's all there, wizardingworld.com. That sounded like an ad almost. You can find all of that at wizardingworld.com. <laughs> all right, oh, there was a super chat that just disappeared. Uh-oh, are you guys frozen? No, you're not frozen. Got to go back. Oh, here it is, found it. From Robert, hello, Robert. Greetings from Germany. What's your favorite German translation book set? That is a hard one. Now, a lot of you are probably gonna be like, oh, he loves the 20th anniversary editions. I do love them, but they're not my favorites. Um, it's it's a toss up between the, the blue edition with the character faces on the spines or, no. I think it's that one. I was gonna say the one, the the one through four box set with Harry's face on the spines that creates Harry's face, but it's it's the the blue set with the. And I'm sorry I can't show you guys, but they're literally like right here in the Potter or here, right here in the no here, I'm mirrored on the screen. They're right here on the Potter collector in the Potter collector library. So, look for them. They're they're super super beautiful books. Uh, we've got another super chat. All right, I'm gonna try very hard. Basilisa, Basilisa Springer says, I love your channel, Peter. I was wondering if we can get Harry Potter Marathon live stream with you at some point. That would be so cool, but legally, I don't think I'm allowed to stream the Harry Potter movies. That would be so fun though, like to just like have a split screen and have, so have the chat, have, me here and then like the movies and then we just go through them together. That would be so fun. But alas, Earwax, I don't think legally I'm allowed to stream them. But one thing I do want to do is like a reactions video or something of the different Harry Potter movies because we know that they're different from the books and not as good as the books. So I'd love to do a reaction video at some point. Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> Another super chat. Lucas, the spider fanatic, are you still in the bathroom? Uh, I'm more disappointed regarding Johnny Depp's departure about Fantastic, blah, blah, blah. Fantastic Beasts because of the circumstances. Um, Mads Mikkelsen will not disappoint us, though. He was a baddie in Doctor Strange. Um... 
yeah, I don't I don't know what that that is either. Kikilius or whatever. <laughs> yeah, the circumstances are so weird. Uh, it's it's a hard one. You know, it's it feels like he's the one who's being punished when it was really a mutual thing between him and his wife and she still has her job, but he doesn't have his job. So it's, there's kind of some, some sour taste to the whole situation. I feel like it's either just get rid of them both or just let both of them stay. I don't know. That's, I don't really know what I, what, what opinion I have on that situation, but the opinion I have is that I'm sad that Johnny Depp is going to be be no longer playing Grindelwald. And just the fact that Fantastic Beasts, I really enjoyed the series, and this is going to be like a, a just kind of a, a kerplunk, I think I said once on a live stream. Kerplunk, you know, like when you drop a, a rock into, into water and it goes kerplunk? It's like a kerplunk in the series, so... I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. Um, Matthew says, Hey, Potter Collector, what's your favorite Universal ride besides the stuff at the Wizarding World? I love Jurassic Park. It's a water ride because I love dinosaurs. Um, the Mummy is really good. <clears throat> E.T. is just iconic. So I have a lot of favorites. There are good rides outside of Transformers is awesome. There are some great rides outside of, of Wizarding World, but those would probably be my favorites of those. Either Jurassic Park or Mummy would probably be my favorite. And we've got from Archie. Archie says, what is your favorite of the Harry Potter movies? Greetings from England. Chamber of Secrets. I love Chamber of Secrets. But I also really like part one of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. I feel like that is the most accurate, book accurate. Um, part two is accurate up until Neville's speech, I always say. And then it just becomes a movie. And it didn't have to become a movie. Like the book itself is cinematic in itself. Um, so part one through part two up until when Neville has his little speech, um, I think are most accurate. And I like accuracy. So Chamber of Secrets, I think is very accurate to the book. So Chamber of Secrets is my favorite. And I just love Chamber of Secrets in general, which helps make the movie my favorite. Um, I am not married. I am what I say, uh, single, but not ready to mingle. <laughs> We've got another super chat. Um, bye, uh, bye, Cameron. Sorry you have to go, but thanks for coming. Thanks for coming and hanging out. Doing my movie live stream, but just not show the film while playing. That way we can all watch together. Oh, oh, on our own devices, but still chat about them have a timer so we are all on the same point. We have to look into that. I don't know anything about that, but I will look into, that would be fun. That could be very fun. I, I But again, I have no idea how I would do that. So I will look into that. Tyler M. Hello, Tyler. Hey, Peter, just wanted to say thank you for doing what you do. Makes me happy to see how much your channel has grown since I first found you. And you've been around for a long time. So thank you for sticking around, for being here, for being a, a community member. But I'm curious, what are your thoughts on the proposed Harry Potter HBO TV show? So we talked a little bit about this earlier, but it's kind of up in the air. We don't know if it's true or not because Warner Brothers and HBO came out with a statement saying that nothing's in the works which is true. Nothing is probably in the works yet because they're talking about it. So is that a way to sway us away from thinking something's coming so that they can surprise us? Hey, there's a Harry Potter show. Whoa. And then we can be like, oh, we already knew. Um, but one thing I will say again is that they hired someone who has a lot of TV experience 
to oversee all of the Wizarding World and expand the Wizarding World, um, you know, things. So I think a TV show is going to be coming at some point. I don't know what it'll be. It probably won't be Harry Potter, but something Wizarding World related, especially with um, Disney Plus and all of their Star Wars TV shows, they're going to want to compete with Disney. So I hope it happens. I would love for it to happen. Just don't know if it's going to happen anytime soon. <clears throat> Have you seen The Cursed Child live at the theater? I did. I saw the original cast, which was cool, when they came to New York. And so I saw it in New York. It's a beautiful show. It's fantastic on stage. I wouldn't call it, still wouldn't call it um, canon, but it's a beautiful show. So, and it's interesting as a show, not as a script. Um, when are you going to visit India? So here's what's so sad. I had a lot of trips that I wanted to, to do, a lot of overseas trips that I wanted to plan, and then you know, the pandemic hit. So I have no idea at this point. I don't know. It's very sad. I was going to take you guys to Japan, to Wizarding World in Japan. Um, but alas, earwax. Can't do that now. Uh, so yeah, I would love to visit India and other places. But everything's up in the air at the moment. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, oh, oh, I missed a super chat. Wait. Uh oh. Oh, Robert, I think I saw it. No, I think I answered yours. Uh, let me go back up and see what it was. Oh, no. Oh, you're right. I did miss it. Wait, where is it? Why didn't it show up at the top here? Okay. Uh, thank you for the super chat and for saying that, that I missed it. Favorite Potter collector video. Oh, my goodness gracious. Um, <clears throat> well, I'm thinking you guys tell me what your favorite Potter collector video is. I'm not going to look at the screen cause I'm not going to cheat. I don't want to be like swayed in any way. <clears throat> and I'm just going to talk while I think. I really like the wand unboxings. Those are just really fun to do. Um, this is so hard. It was one recent that I really liked. Oh, I loved the unboxing of the Department 56 Villages. Oh wait, by not looking at the screen, I'm not seeing what your favorites are. So I do have to kind of look at the screen. I, I think I, but man, there are Wizarding World Harry Potter videos that are so fun. I think the Wizarding World of Harry Potter videos are my favorite in general, but the wand unboxings are probably my favorite. If you call all three of them one video, I just, it's so fun to like open up random things. <laughs> so that's probably what, what my favorite would be. Um, all right, I'm gonna scroll up and see what you guys say. <clears throat> See Universal Studios, um, Mystery Wands, Mystery Wands, um, AccuBox videos. That's fun. Those are really cool. Um, another one will be coming soon when I get back home. Fan mail ratings. Yeah, see, those are so much fun. Those those take three hours to film, and it feels like 20, 30 minutes. Those are those go so fast, but it takes so long to film. I love those. Um, I think that we would be able to do a Zoom so you could meet some of us and we could meet you. A Zoom. Oh, maybe. That could be fun, actually. How many people can you have on Zoom? I wonder. It would have to be like a first first come first serve sort of thing. I don't know how many people can come on Zoom. That could be quite chaotic. Huh, let me let me think more about that. 
about how like I would do that. Um, when you show your books, <laughs> the, the trading card videos, those were a lot of fun to do. A lot of PO Box unboxings. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Lucas, excuse me again. Oof, get the burps. Lucas, the Spider Fanatic HP fan film reaction. I like some of them. Um, I saw the the Sisters of House Black. That was a good one. Um, there was like a Voldemort one. That was good. Yeah, I think some of them are really good. <clears throat> That'd be actually fun to do like a Harry Potter film, fan film. Um, <clears throat> might be hard to set up, but you might be able to do a charity. Yeah, see, that's a good idea. Charity based thing with Eventbrite with like a $5 ticket that goes to Loomis or something. I like that idea a lot. So 100 people max is what you can do on Zoom, but I like that. I like that a lot. Where you'd have to like pay five dollars or something, and that would go to charity. That would be very cool. Yeah, I'll think. I'll think more on that. Good suggestion. Very good suggestion. The Honey Dukes unboxing is a fun video. Yeah, that was a good one with Mama Potter collector. All right, let's see. What other questions have we got here? Yeah. <clears throat> Explain the Mina Lima illustration edition as I had to pre-order it. I'm confused as how many have it on. Um, so right now, Book two is on pre-order, but book one is is released. But I think they're back ordered, so you'd have to maybe that's maybe you have to pre-order for the the ones that will be coming in soon. Um, but only book one is out right now, so that's the only one you can get. Um. Who else deals with allergies? They're absolutely the worst. Terrible, terrible things. Have you read or do you read Harry Potter fan fiction? No, I don't. I'm just not interested in fan fiction. I'm very much a canon person. Um, so I don't and haven't. But I'm sure there's a lot of good fan fiction out there. Ugh, I know, allergies are absolutely the worst. I hate allergies. Um, allergy, allergies are horrible, oh my goodness, I know. I mean, look at my eyes. It's like, it's terrible. Robert sent a super chat and said, is there still a rare Harry Potter book you are still, that you are looking for? Um, for the most part, no, which is a really interesting place to be as like a collector to not have anything else to collect, if that if that makes sense. <clears throat> um, I mean, I, I, I'm constantly on the lookout for unique signed editions that, you know, have unique um, inscriptions or dedications. <clears throat> um, not, yeah, not really. It's it's mostly signed things. Like I want to complete a signed set of first printings. Um, I need Deathly Hollows still, and Order of the Phoenix, the UK editions, and 
yeah, that's pretty much pretty much it, which is kind of a cool place to be. But kind of sad at the same same point because you're not searching for for things. Um, have you seen the Pottery Barn collection? It has incredible snake mirror, fox lamp, Hedwig lamp, lights, um, blows noble collection out of the water. Uh, would you ever buy and review? I have seen the stuff. It looks like beautiful stuff. I wish their mirror of Erised was a little bit bigger because it's not quite full size, but it's incredible <laughs> nonetheless. And yeah, I would consider buying some stuff. It's just really expensive. Pottery Barn is super, super expensive. Um, but, but yeah, I'll have to look into that. Do you suffer from hay fever? Yes. Hay and tree fever. <laughs> it's terrible. It's horrible, horrible, horrible. And right now in Chicago, the ground is full of snow. So that's kind of the place that I should be right now because there's no allergies in the snow. Um, but here in Florida, the trees are blooming. So my nose is blooming <laughs> as well. Um, opinion on Snape. I like Snape, but I don't think he's a good, I don't think he's a good guy. I, he's not evil. He's not a bad guy, but he's not, a, he's not a good human, but I think he's, he's a good character. Um, are you going to meet Mindy? No, I had, um, so my friends, Larry and Mindy, they, they were here last week. So we hung out and, um, they're not going to be going to universal. I don't think this weekend. Uh, we've got a super chat, super chat, super chat, super chat, super chat from Lubos. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. My apologies if I did not. Um, yes. Are you going to do a video on the 20th anniversary Slovak books? What do you think about the cover art? I'm not going to tell you what I think about the cover art until I do the video, but they are in the Potter Collector Library waiting to be filmed. So, yes, that will be coming soon. But no, 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 uh, no sneak, sneak information about what I think about the cover artwork. That's beautiful. So I'm not going to say anything about the cover artwork until that video. And um, you'll have to watch it to see that. So there you go. That's all you that's all you'll get. Don't ask any more questions. No more questions. That's top secret, that is. Um, what YouTubers do you watch on YouTube? I don't watch a lot of YouTubers. Um, I watch the Tim Tracker, which and, and they are so Tim and Jen are Orlando based and they do um, vlogs of Disney and Universal. So they're a lot of fun and they they actually are the the channel that inspired me to start the Potter Collector channel. So if you ever watch a Tim Tracker video, go over there and thank them for me and say thank you for inspiring the Potter Collector to start his channel. Um, I met them at Disney Springs last time and and thanked them and they're they're very very kind people in real life too. Um, so yeah, the Tim Tracker and uh, my friend friends Mindy and Larry, Mindy Minx. Um, I watched some of their videos and yeah, I don't watch a lot of YouTube. Which is interesting. And I don't know I th I think some YouTubers do just like watch everybody but I don't, which is weird. I don't know why. I just don't. What about you guys? Who who do you all watch? 
<laughs> What's your day job um, besides collecting? <laughs> Uh, I work in computers, so computer programming, um, data processing, that sort of thing, which is nice because it allows me to take my computer and do my work anywhere. Let's see. Do you like Universal Studios or Islands of Adventure better? I like Islands of Adventure because that's where Hogwarts is located. Um, but Universal Studios, I think, has better rides in general. But yeah, you know, you, uh, Islands of Adventure, I think, is my favorite. Tim Tracker was the first YouTuber that I watched. That's awesome. Yeah, I think it was he was my first YouTuber that I watched too. When are you going to show your Harry Potter pin collection? Uh, I have to go through it first. <laughs> right now, it's all like mixed and mishmashed, mushed, mish, 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 mushed um, in a box. So I have to put everything together and set up the display that I want to do for it. Um, so yeah, sometime in the future. And also I'm gonna do a wand video in the future and potions video in the future. Let us see what questions are next. Favorite shop in Diagon Alley. I love Scribulous, even though like I'm not a writer or a, um, what's the word? Like a scrapbooker necessarily. But I love that store. <clears throat> it's like a paper product store. <laughs> And they have different journals and quills and ink and stamps. And so that's probably my favorite store. And I've got a lot of stuff from there, but I don't use it. I kind of just display it. <clears throat> um, what's your favorite book edition? Hello from Amon. Favorite book edition. So this is a hard one because there are so many out there that are fantastic beasts. Ah, okay. Um, I just, I think I have to go with the original Bloomsbury editions as my favorite, favorite covers. They're just so iconic. Those and the Mary Grand Prix ones. But I think I would choose the Bloomsbury editions over the Grand Prix ones. So probably those. There are so many incredible translation cover artworks. The Japanese has always been a favorite of mine. Um, yeah. Will you ever give Potter collectors your contact number. <laughs> no, never. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I need to, to keep, keep my number private. So no. Um, yeah, the, the Bloomsbury covers are absolutely sick in, in a good way. <laughs> a good sick, the good sick, not the bad sick. Um, favorite Funko Pop, Harry Potter Funko Pop, the Akami. The Akami is fantastic. It's a beautiful Funko Pop. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm like burping water like crazy. I 
the Mina Lima editions are, are really nice. They're not my favorites, but they're very nice. <clears throat> um, I'd be interested to see what they do with Chamber of Secrets. We've got a super chat from Alexa, and my voice keeps getting lower because of the allergies. <clears throat> uh, do you think Draco deserves a better ending as a character, or were you satisfied with his ending? I was satisfied with his ending. Um, he's not a good person. It's like he, you know, he he made the right choice in the end, but he's he's not a good person. Um, and I'm sure some of his prejudices still exist um, in his adult life. But no, I was I was okay with his his ending personally. Um, what are they? What is it in the epilogue? How do they? Does Draco? Not like talk to Harry, but interact with Harry at, at, in, in any in any way, or was it just the movie where he kind of gives Harry a little nod? I don't remember with the book, but that's after this next book that I'm reading. So, uh, but let me know if if you guys remember, because I don't remember what what he does. I know that he's mentioned, but I don't know what he does. Ugh, yeah, allergy sickness is the worst. Ah! <laughs> I've got the eye drops and the nose spray and the antihistamines and ugh. So I, oh, we got a super chat and then I'll tell you my story. Uh, we got two super chats and then I'll tell you my story. Uh, from Wes, thank you, Wes. Peter, how are you feeling about the HBO series rumors? Much love from Wes from Brazil. We touched on this a bit earlier, and um, I am super excited about the possibility. So anything Harry Potter, anything new Harry Potter that we can discover and that we get, I think is fantastic. Um, and But we'll see. I think it will happen because Disney Plus has been doing all the Star Wars shows. Warner Brothers is going to want to compete with Disney. So I think it's going to happen, even though they deny that it's happening. So, yeah, I, a Marauders thing would be awesome. I mean, there's so much they could do. <clears throat> they could do a Lillian James series. I, there's, it's like there's so much that could be done. They need to just get on it so that we can see it. Um, Marvelous Geek says... After Slytherin, which house fits you well? Probably Ravenclaw. So I thought I was a Ravenclaw before J.K. Rowling came out with the official Sorting Hat quiz and then took the Sorting Hat quiz and found out I was a Slytherin, and I was not happy about it. And then I read the description about Slytherin, and I was like, oh, yeah, that does fit, and Slytherins aren't bad. I'm just misunderstood. Seriously misunderstood creatures. Um, oh, I was going to tell you a story, something about allergies. Um, I know I sound like a broken record. Uh, oh, yeah. So I've got all the antihistamines, all the nose sprays, all the eye drops. And, um, but back in Chicago, I've done allergy immunization therapy. So like you get an allergy shot. So they, they inject you with, little particles of what you're allergic to and over time add more and more and more to kind of build up your immunity to it. It was a five-year process. So in Chicago, I'm great when allergy season comes along, but because I'm in a different place, there are trees that I haven't been um, immunized. It, it, uh, it <laughs> that was the word. <laughs> They weren't in my shots. The 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 pollens, the, the allergens of different things down here weren't in my shots up there because we don't have them up there. Um, so when I come down here in January, I usually get allergies. So I'm not immune down here. I'm immune up where I am, which is kind of sad because I come down here a lot. So immune is not immune. Oh, my gosh. I still can't read it even when you write it out. 
immune is I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> I give up. Uh, yes, not COVID. It's allergies. Terrible, terrible allergies. Inoculated. Oh, is oh, is that inoculated? I'm gonna. I have to search search that. Inoculated. <laughs> this is funny. Um, inoc. How do you spell? How do you spell that? Inoculated. Oh, treat with a vaccine to produce immunity against a disease. Yes. Um, I have not been inoculated with the trees and different allergens that are down here. So thanks, guys, for helping me out. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, oh, there's a birthday here. Julian, happy birthday. I hope you have an incredible day. Thanks for joining the Potter Collection community to help celebrate you. Very cool. Uh, let's see. Can I make some fan fiction? <laughs> I'm, I'm not the best writer, so probably not because it would be some bad fan fiction. <laughs> Although I think there's a lot of bad fan fiction out there. Um, so maybe that would be good. I don't know. So probably not though, because yeah, I, I'm not, not a writer. Ooh, my nose is itching like a mother of itching. All right, let's see. Do you know I don't ship Hermione and Draco? No, I, sh I ship... Hermione and Ron, Harry and Ginny, um, the people that, sorry, some Pelicans just flew by, the people that are supposed to be with each other. So I go by the book. That's, that's just me personally. Just me in Florida. Hey, I'm just in Florida too. Uh, we're huge fans. We just became pass holders and we're there December 21st. We're going back February 28th. Any chance you'll be going then? We'd love to say hi. I will be in Florida, but I won't be at Universal Studios on the 28th. No, actually, I won't be. No, 28th is the last day of this month. Yeah, so I'll be flying into Florida, but won't be at Universal Studios until the 5th of March. Yeah, so I'm here this weekend, and then the next time I'll be there is the 5th of March, which happens to be my birthday. <clears throat> Let's see. Animate Animate Jack Man says heard that they are making a Harry Potter show. Um they are it's rumored. Um so we talked about this a couple times already, but I'm definitely going to tell you since you're new to the stream. Um, I think it's going to happen because Disney is doing all the star Wars shows on Disney plus and universal universal Warner brothers is going to want to compete with Disney. So it's going to happen at some point. Warner brothers and HBO have, said it's nothing's in the works right now but we also know that they've been like talking about it or the rumor has been that they're talking about doing this so yeah nothing's in the works so you have to like look look into their statements a little bit to see if they're true or not um but they did hire someone who has a lot of tv experience and um to oversee all of the wizarding world and expand the wizarding world. So a TV show is gonna be coming soon, for sure. And I can't wait. And I hope that they just make a bajillion Harry Potter or Wizarding World TV shows and just expand the world. Um, <clears throat> why is Universal phasing out collectible wands, the non-interactive wands? Uh, because, 
um, they can make more money. I don't know if this is the only reason, but because they can make more money with interactive ones. And it also allows you to go around and do, um, you know, the magic spells around the wizarding world of Harry Potter. Um, as far as the non-interactive wands go, I would not recommend purchasing a non-interactive wand from Universal Studios unless you're like, I have to buy a wand at Universal Studios because they are Noble Collection wands and you can get them for a lot cheaper direct from Noble Collection. So even the, inter the, the, the interactive wands <clears throat> are made by Noble Collection. Um, you can't buy interactive wands from Noble Collection. They can only be purchased at Universal. But um, but yeah, they're, they're still made by Noble Collection. So buy your non-interactive wands and save some money from Noble Collection. Although you can't buy them for much longer at Universal Studios anyway, so. Um, when did you start liking Harry Potter? Uh, I started liking Harry Potter in 1999. Excuse me again. When my grandmother gave me my, the, the first Harry Potter book and, and I read it and loved it and haven't turned back. So, 1999. If you lived in, in Florida, would you go to Universal every weekend? Um, I'd probably be there very often. Every weekend, I don't know, but. I'd probably be there very often. <clears throat> Let's see. Speaking of Universal, we've got five minutes left because I need to drive to Universal. And it's about an hour away from where I am. So we've got five minutes. So send your questions. And I will do my best to answer them. We've got a super chat. Out of the 30 people at Ollivander's in Universal, I got picked to have a wand choose me. It was the best moment ever. It is quite a fun moment. Um, yeah, I've been chosen, and it is magical, especially when the music plays. It's fantastic. All right, final questions. Final questions. I need to like blow my, oh, that's my five minute warning. Um, will you ever move permanently to Florida? I don't know because all my family is in the Chicagoland area. So probably not. If they all moved to Florida, then I would move to Florida, but all my family is up there. So. Probably not for a while, at least. Sorry, I know it's gotta blow my nose. Stupid allergies. Okay, we're a little bit better. Um, <clears throat> how long does it take to get to Florida from Illinois? Uh, the flight is like two hours, so not long at all. Super quick. The drive is like 19 hours, so that's why I fly. <laughs> Do you prefer the Leaky Cauldron or the three broomsticks at Wizarding World? I prefer the food. Um, <laughs> let's say my... Uh, Cousin Nicole, who you guys have met before, is texting me and she's a little nervous because she's flying down here and she's asking about the safety COVID wise. And airlines have been doing a fantastic job, especially Southwest. Um, like you walk on the plane and it smells like chemicals and bleach, <laughs> which is probably not good for us to be breathing in any way. But yeah, it's it's great. Um, so I'm gonna I'll I'll text her after. Uh, I'm just going to tell her I'm going to text her in two seconds, or I'll call in two seconds. Uh, 
Um, what were we talking about? Oh, I like the food better at the Leaky Cauldron. Um, but I think I like – no. Leaky Cauldron. Yeah. <clears throat> no. I was thinking ambiance. They're about – they're even, I think, with when it comes to ambiance. But um, Leaky Cauldron's food, I think, is better. Uh what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So my cousin, Nicole, she's flying down and she uh, she was in, speaking of Leaky Cauldron, the Leaky Cauldron mukbang where we ate all of the food at Leaky Cauldron. So we're filming another Leaky Cauldron mukbang this weekend and um, it's going to be all the breakfast options that the Leaky Cauldron serves. So watch out for that. That's going to be coming soon. Uh, favorite Harry Potter character is Dumbledore. Uh, Halbus, Percival, Wolfric, Brian, Dumbledore, to be more accurate. Uh, hi from Egypt. That's cool. Hello, hello. Thanks for joining. Any mutual videos with with Mindy and Larry soon. Uh, not, not planned, but I mean, I see them pretty often. So we may film. It's like, we don't, we don't plan necessarily like, Oh, let's, let's film a video. It's kind of just happens, which is fun. Cause that's, that's how I like, like it's, it's unplanned. I'm more spontaneous, you know, in that sense. So, um, maybe another universal one, um, in the future, but yeah, nothing planned at the moment. Uh, <clears throat> uh, so with printing number line one, three, five, seven, etc., instead of 10 to one, um, like what's the difference? There's really no difference. They're both first printing number lines. So you always take the lowest number in the printing line. Um, Joe, Joe. <laughs> I'm not going to answer you because I know you're being, uh, you're being silly. <laughs> um, Yeah, so there's no there's no real difference between those number lines. Just different way of looking at it. Yes, uh, there that is planned. Mama Potter Collector will she be in a video soon? Um, so I'm going to Universal Studios for my birthday, March fifth, and um, I'm planning to vlog that. And Mama Potter Collector will be there, so she will be in that video. Um, and we are out of time, but I'm going to answer one more question and then call my cousin Nicole and tell her she's safe to fly. Um, how old will I be? <laughs> I don't like talking about age anymore, if that tells you something. <laughs> It tells you I'm old. I'm an old man, guys. Uh, I'll be 34. 34. 34 years old. Isn't that crazy? All right. Last. Who is your favorite Weasley and why? <clears throat> Favorite Weasley, favorite Weasley. Um, probably Percy. Kidding. That was a joke. Uh, either Ron or Molly. Yeah, I, Ron or Molly. I like both of them. I think they're both, both good characters. Sarah, no, you're not old. I'm old. You're not old. <laughs> <laughs> People have different perspectives when it comes to age. I don't actually think that I'm old. 
um, Fred, Charlie, Fred and George. Um, <laughs> thanks guys. You're making me feel good. <laughs> you're not old, Peter. You're not old. No, I, I, I know that I'm not old. But I don't like getting older. If that, if that, if that makes it more sense. Dragons, you're joking. Uh, awesome. Well, you guys, thanks for joining today. I'm sorry that I didn't have time to film a video for today, but I had to release something at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, even though it's that would was 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time because I'm in Florida. Um, but thank you for joining. Thank you for the for the chat. I know I say this every time. We need to do this more often. So once life gets a little less busy, even though it's like the end of the holiday season, it's still kind of busy at the moment. Um, maybe we can get like a set day or two a month where we do live chats. That'd be very fun. So, but until then, you guys take care. Thank you for joining. And I've got to call my cousin Nicole and let her know that she is safe to come down and film. So yeah, so keep an eye out for some uh, new new Wizarding World Harry Potter stuff in the future, in the near future. And I don't want to leave, but I've got to leave because I've got to go to Universal Studios. So, <laughs> so thanks guys for joining. And until next time, keep collecting. Bye.